Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Shailu's Updates. Construction of Septic Tank and Soap Pit Do's and Don'ts of Septic Tank Construction Tamil Nadu government released this animation video to create awareness. While constructing a house, we buy taps, showers and pipes that are of good quality and known brands to decorate our toilets and bathrooms for usage. But we do not give much importance to septic tank constructions. Septic tanks which are important for environment and health are being neglected. Lack of awareness about septic tank is the reason for this negligence. Improper design and poor construction practices that will lead to direct and indirect health and environment hazards are not being realized. As a result of this, adults and children largely suffer from diarrhea, stomach and intestinal related infections. A building plan and construction should follow the building rules in order to complete the construction and to make the building fit for people to live. Unless these rules are followed, the building plan will not be approved by the government. Toilet seat should be connected to the peat trap which can retain water. Unless provision is made for water seal latrine, building plan will not be approved. Septic tank should not be located in swampy areas or areas prone to flooding or places where water gets stagnated. Let us learn how to construct a septic tank in detail. The floor and roof of septic tank should be built using reinforced concrete. The side walls should be constructed with bricks where inner sides of the walls should be plastered with water impermeable materials to prevent seepage. Septic tank has two chambers. On the roof of both the chambers, lids of size 2 feet into 2 feet should be fixed that can be opened from outside. Porous materials such as gravel that allows water to seep through should not be used to construct the septic tank that will affect the public health and pollutes the environment. Septic tanks should have a minimum width of 2 feet 6 inches, a minimum depth of 3 feet 4 inches below the liquid level and a minimum liquid capacity of 1 meter cube. The length of the septic tanks should be 2 to 4 times the width. The outlet of the septic tank should be compulsorily connected to a soak pit. Septic tanks that are not connected to a soak pits affects the public health, environment and therefore will not be approved. Let's learn how to construct a soak pit in detail. The floor of the soak pit should be filled with porous materials for liquid absorption.
while the septic tank is a water tight structure the soap pit should have the capacity to internally absorb the liquid into the environment if the distance between the bottom of the soap pit and the maximum ground water level throughout the year is 6 feet and 7 inches and more then the soap pit should be located at a minimum distance of 9 feet and 11 inches from the drinking water sources if the distance between the bottom of the soap pit and the maximum ground water level throughout the year is less than 6 feet and 7 inches then the soap pit should be located at a minimum distance of 33 feet from the drinking water sources this will prevent contamination of drinking water only those plants that adhere to to building rules will be approved let us understand the do's and don'ts in construction of septic tanks a septic tank should not be constructed at a location which is not accessible for desludging No building structures should be built above the septic tanks. A septic tank should be constructed at an accessible location. that helps in easy desludging The liquid discharged from the septic tank is waste water. Therefore, it should never be connected to an open drain or to be let out into other water bodies. The size of the septic tank should be constructed proportional to the number of people in the household. It should not be very large, very small or deep. For a household of 5 members, the septic tank should have a minimum width of 2 feet and 6 inches, length of 4 feet 11 inches and liquid holding capacity of 3 feet and 5 inches for a household of 10 members the size of the septic tank should have a minimum width of 3 feet length of 6 feet 7 inches and liquid holding capacity of 4 feet 7 inches for a household of 15 members the size of the septic tank should have a minimum width of 3 feet length of 
6 feet 7 inches and the liquid holding capacity of 6 feet 7 inches. For a household of 20 members, the size of the septic tank should have a minimum width of 3 feet 7 inches, length of 7 feet 6 inches and the liquid holding capacity of 5 feet 11 inches. The septic tank plays a very important role in sanitation, proper design and construction of septic tank and regular desludging once in 2-3 to three years. Safe transportation, treatment and safe disposal, reuse of fecal sludge will help to achieve total sanitation in India. Let us all march towards safe and total sanitation. Let us protect our environment. I hope this video helps you a lot. If you like this video, kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shiro's updates and also click the bell icon. In that bell icon, click the all also so that my updates will come to you in your notification box. We are doing 3D elevation design work at really affordable cost with unique design. If you want, you can contact 93539 You can check our Facebook page Karthik Designs also. In that page, we have posted the recent design also. Thank you.